Up, honey. It's me, your big daddy. I'm back from El Paso. Come on, wake up. Uh, what, what the hell's going on in there? Open this door. You open this door right now. I'll break it down. You hear me? Rita, I'll break it down. You're doing the right thing. Hey, 
I'll be at the rodeo grounds. Yeah, well, wait just a minute, will you, Cleet? I, uh, I better see if she's alone. Sure, that's what you want. Yes. Yeah. You're not even going to open the door. No. Okay. Well then. Yeah, that's the way it's going to be. Sending me and I keep sending them back. I'm not going to sign it. Well, all right. Then I'll take you to court. Just that this way it'd be a lot easier, less expensive. Yeah, well, how do you know that I'm not going to stay? Oh, shoot. Well, what's the matter, honey? I'm going to be late, that's all. 
Mr. Wellington will be madder in hell. You can bet on that. Well, hell with him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, hell with him. Oh, boy. You sure still don't understand what working means, do you? What? Well, the rodeo ain't working, don't you think it ain't? Well, we got a date later, right? What time to pick you up? I told you I'm busy. With this Owens fella? That's right. Well, hell, break it. I can't. Used car salesman. He owns a used car dealership. Yeah, well, it's still a car salesman. Well, don't you knock it, baby. So are you. Take one and no one. Come on, honey, break it, huh? I can't, and I won't. You got the hots for this fellow, son? He thinks a lot of me. And he thinks a lot of Bobby. It's very good with him, you know? Yeah, well, that's just great, because you can go live common law with him, because I ain't going to sign those divorce papers. Ah, uh, you can't do that, can you? No, you could have it all signed, sealed, and delivered, right? What's the matter with a little respectability? Come on, honey. I mean, all he's after is a little easy loving. I mean, you wave a marriage license in front of him, he's going to run faster than a speeding bullet. Oh, boy, that, that is your favorite answer to everything, isn't it? It's just a crying shame that you think that everybody in the whole world thinks just exactly the way you think. Well, what the hell else am I supposed to think? Nothing. I, just nothing. Nothing. Not supposed to think anything. I mean, you ought to know by now, Lou. I don't expect you to think anything. I don't expect anything from you. Nothing is expected of you. I mean, just absolutely nothing. Don't expect you to do anything. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Absolutely. Oh, nothing. shut up. Listen, I sure would like it if you broke it, especially for tonight. Why should I? Well, because I'd like to be with you. Little respectability that I can give you. All signed, sealed, and... Bet your ass. Just as soon as the next time you walk out of here. Well, you gonna break it now? No, I'm not. Watch those brakes now, will you? You might have to pump them up at times. I'll need the car back tomorrow morning. I'd love to old Royce Owen for me, honey. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Oh, all right. I'm a real one. How's it going? Oh, pretty good. Hey, ho. Come on out of there, Blue. Yeah, Blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, ho, hey. Up, 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 Blue. Up. There's a rank old son of a buck that killed no boy last week. There's one real hawk in that herd. Nice, nice. Take me road. It'll sure take a bull rider to handle it. Yeah. With a feed sack full of rosin and six Bibles. The last old cowboy rode that bull, got throat so high the birds built a nest in his hat before he lived. <laughs> 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 
want to take a leak, get in it up and get drunk. Hey, wait a minute, Lowe, I'll go with you. What order? Oh, whichever comes first. What the hell are they doing down there? Oh, they're trying out some horses. Why don't you get your gear and get on one? Hey, I got us a place at the Starlight Motel. Starlight? Yeah, not too bad either for six bucks. Oh, here. Oh, dang. Almost forgot. Here, here's some infants for you. I got an advance from Harry on my clowning contract. After that's gone, my my got a scrape in the bottom. Well, how much do you have? Oh, I held out uh, 30 for me. Cleve, do you think you ought to get in the Bronx ride? I don't know. It might be kind of tough. Larry Mahan and that Wilson kid's down here. Of course, if you draw a decent horse, it might be all right. There's some good horses in this herd. Hell, they can't win them all. Well, hell, go on, get in it. Oh, pick me up a jug when you get to town. I might not be finished here before 6 o'clock. Yeah, I'll do her. You need the pickup keys? No, 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 no. I got Linda's car. Hey, how'd that work out? Oh, same as always. She's a good woman. Too damn good for you. Yeah, I know it. Get to see the boy? No, he's working on a ranch up north. He works up there a few weeks every year. Why not? He's back tomorrow. That little devil. That won't hurt him, man. No, driving already. Oh, you're kidding. No. Damn, I'm getting old, Cleet. Yeah. It's too bad, by golly, the brains don't come with age anymore. So. You better keep your wrong end pointed the other way. You don't want him to recognize you, do you? Yeah, you can say that again. Hello, Rita, honey. Hey, I'm your going man's to go shot. check the water in the bullpens. You go on. Yeah, okay. Give her a good ride. <laughs> What are you doing, Everett? Practicing getting up? Huh? Oh, come on, Lou. A dirty old green horse has a lot more power than it looks like. Oh, hell, it looks like pure whipped cream where I was standing. Yeah, I'd like to see you try to get by. Damn, Everett, we used, to, we used to punch cows on horse tougher than that. Oh, boy, you're sure doing an awful lot of talking. I'd like to see you get up there and try it. I got me a little old bareback horse over there that'll jerk your butt out of the toolies. Really well. Why don't we go have a look at this bad thing old Jack's got over there? Where is he? Come on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, what's going on here? All these old boys here don't think I can ride this dog meat here. <laughs> how much money they got? Oh, we got enough. Question is how much you got. Oh, I reckon we could probably scare up a hundred, huh, Lou? Hell yeah. Oh, well, you want me to spur them out? Yeah, yeah. Well, what are my eyes? Well, you've been mouthing off about how you can jerk out anything I got. Now, what the hell you want odds for? Well, if I have to write it. I'll make it official eight seconds. <laughs> well, Jack, tell you what I'll do. Uh, since this is my event, you know, uh, why don't we make it 150 to 100 and I'll contest him all the way. You go right ahead, Lantern. If you do the best you can, you ain't gonna get past the end of that gate no how. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got a glove and a rig? <laughs> oh, shoot. Would you boys uh, kind of give us some room here? We don't know what this old pony's gonna do. Get a hold of him. Oh, son. Keep your back covered, us, Larry, so Jack can't see what we're doing here. That little boy sure is a glutton for punishment. Yeah, but there's something about that little reader, though. She still doing me on. Are you back nailing her again, Larry? Just a little. Yeah, and damn near got himself shot this morning for doing it. <laughs> oh, you're a dirty guy, Lou. That's it. I'll tie your butt on him. Okay, okay. let him up. Let him up. Money 
bone. Hide that damn bone. <laughs> what is it, Jack? God. <laughs> No, I was looking for some bread in my hand there, partner. <laughs> I didn't think you'd do that. I know you did. That was a pretty good ride. What you been practicing on? Yeah, well, I... I have been getting in a little when I can, Jack. Thank much obliged for. All you done for us. Didn't think you could ride him either. I'm not cheating, was it? Well, like the fella says, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. <laughs> okay, boys, we got some more horses to try. Come on, Buck, you're next. Did you get my bottle? No, we're gonna go pick it up as soon as I finish here. <laughs> What's your card number, Lou? 1781. What do you want in? Saddle bronze, bulls. Work them sissy events, huh, Lou? Oh, hello, Pedro. It's the only way to fly. It's the only way you don't need no talent. All you need is waves. All I need is your money. That'll be $25 for bulls and $30 for the saddle bronze. Right. Lowell, you back here trying again. Too dumb to quit. How much for team roping? $30 a man, you can get under twice. Damn! That is $60. That blows my dancing lessons all to hell. Hey, there's an old yellow bull that's hurt. It's all it's you go on this. Saddle Bronx bull? No, I have been that step many times. I will bull riders are full of bull lumps. Hey, Brad, Brad. <laughs> How did you get down here? Oh, I flew down here in my little pink helicopter. How the hell you expect? Oh, yeah. Blue telephone. Some lady wants to talk to you. Oh. Hey, Lou. I think that's your best event. It's his only event. <laughs> Hello. You did? Oh, that's real good. Uh, speaking of events, are you in the wild cow milking? About 11.30 tonight. I uh, so did you draw good. Ain't seen her yet. Well, what's her name? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'll pick you up. What time? What time? Okay, well, I'll, I'll be there. Bye. Hey, Trap. Funny, I, I was hoping I wasn't going to see that little pretty pink helicopter you got down here. Thanks, I enjoy you. I'll see you later. Hey, keep your nose clean, Lou. I'll do that. And don't forget my jug. I'll do it. Jackson, you're robbing the people. Take care now. Hey, hey, sir. Well, howdy, man. Just made a U-turn right in the middle of Main Street there. Did you know that's against the law? You're still kind of loose with your left, Lou. Can't help that, it's my bad upbringing. Got my room ready? You better believe I got him ready. Yeah, I figured you would. What brings you back to Trankton? Couldn't be the rodeo now, could it? No, it could. Well, you just keep your nose clean here. Oh, well, I got my hanky. Right here. I mean what I said, Lou. All right, let's go. <laughs> Jealous folks at home are kind of looking down on me. But they're gonna turn their nose up when you grow up and you show them that you're free. Who's that pistol packing mama? 
standing sexy, smiling over across the street. Well, I'll have to see you later when I'm higher. I'm too busy now. time than you tonight so go home to your newspaper and wife i'm a easy mate for loving i'm a walking book of life well i know that friends are changing changing friendships from your friends can do you in so i don't depend on no one but the one that i call me Looking for a bang up with no hang up, then I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go chase the moon till sun up. When it comes up, I'll be gone. We'll be through. I ain't guilty of a thing and I ain't running. But jails are full of folks that didn't done it. Not to say that what I'm doing's right. I'm easy made for loving. I'm a walking for the life. There we are. All very legal. Thank you, Mr. Weber. You're all signed up for another year. Oh, uh... Compliments of the house. Why, thank you. <laughs> Pleasure to do business with you. Let's be getting old. What can I do for you, Lazer? Who's she? Well, if it was any of your business, I'd tell you. Oh, come on, Mr. Weber. What are you doing? Give away free fire water to locals? Come on, what do you want? Well, I have a couple of bottles of that free Cuddy Sark. Bottle of that free Christian Brothers. Three six packs of Lone Star. A pack of Lucky Strike cigarettes. Jeff, is that one of them little moon girls? The only folks I know around here with money enough to own an automobile like that. Damn, kind of makes you wonder what it's like. John Moon, old bead stringing Indian. Buying up all that worthless land around. People sell it to him, thinking they're stealing his money. Drills a few holes, and <coughs> up comes the oil. Damn. Well, I guess he ends up owning about everything in town, including the liquor store. <laughs> yeah, don't that make you giggle? 2563. Aren't you Lou Lathrop? That's right, honey, the one and only. You don't remember me, do you? Not like this, I don't. He used to hang around with my brother, Charlie Moon. Oh, yeah. How is old Charlie? He's a big executive now. Helps Daddy run the oil business and everything. So the Moon family finally learned to live with all that money. How have you been doing lately? Oh, real good, hell. You look free and easy, you know. So I finally get to know the great Lou Lathrop. <laughs> Poor Charlie. His favorite stories are still about the two of you. Yeah, we kind of kept the jail warm. Blood brothers and the old pokey. And to think I had a crush on you since I was 11. You were my childhood fantasy. No kidding. Well, how'd that go? I was an Indian princess, and uh, 
You came riding on your big white bucking horse and reached down and swooped me off to the forest. What did we do there? I lived happily ever after. You give my love to your brother and I here. Turn the nose up when you grow up and you show them that you're free. Who's that pistol packing mama? Standing sexy, smiling over across the street. Well, I'll have to see you later. When I'm higher, I'm too busy now to speak. I figured it was you when I heard the car pull up. Wasn't sure, but I figured. Oh, old Uncle Harley, how the hell are you, buddy? <laughs> oh, about the same. Everything's falling apart around here. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to get this old truck back to running. Hey, what's the matter with it? Not sure. The electrical system, I think. Oh, yeah. Here's a beer. Oh, thanks. It's a little warm, but I think it's still drink. Yeah, it brought you a little pressure. Oh, thanks. How you been doing, Uncle Arley? Oh, about the same. What you doing up this way, Lou? Rodeo. Oh, that's around again, is it? Yeah. You ain't been back for it a few times. Three years. You want to come see it for once in your life? Oh, no. I don't belong around there, Lou. You just don't want to leave your old property here. That's your trouble. No, this is good for me here. You got that old horse? <laughs> oh, George? <laughs> yeah. No, he's still around. <laughs> That old horse really brings back memory. Must be older than both of us. Too damn mean to lay down, I guess. He's been a good horse. Just taking it easy around here anymore. Hey, Uncle Honey, Shipper. Think about selling this old place? Moving into town? You taking it easy, doing a little living. No. No. No, never did, huh? Well, that's what you want. How you fix? You use a little money? No, I'm fine. Yeah, well, I've been doing pretty good in the winters lately. I can let you have a little bit if you want it. No, you go out and keep it. You'll be needing it for yourself. Sure now? I've got plenty. I'm fine. I don't need much. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll buy another beer. That's a good idea. That's fine. You been to the cemetery, Lou? No. You heard when she died, did you? Yeah. She had a lot of regrets about things she'd done in her life. Be nice if you drove out and saw a grave. You know, I don't know why I should drive all the way out there to pay my respects to a dead whore. She drove my daddy to his grave. I don't have to go out and see hers. Well, you go and do what you think right. He had it in him to forgive her. Is that the bird next to him, is she? Yep, she is.
there, partner. Pipes, I see. At least it beats stepping around knee deep in them cow flops. Oh, listen, that's good stuff. Cleans your pimples right out. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> I think he asked if we'd seen his old lady around. Yep. Best of one girl old Taps County. I wonder if he knows she's the best lay in town. Well, at least why so Roy Soles thinks so. <laughs> that's what he keeps telling everybody. <laughs> <laughs> God, you must be Owens, huh? Royce Owens. Lou Latrum. Yes, I know. Sober Royce? Yep. By God, let's fight. Oh. Yeah. 
Uh... Right? Oh, I don't want to fight Lou. I was just leaving. Uh, uh, Royce uh, gave me a lift home, Lou. I called him and asked him. Oh, well, here, yeah, that's damn nice, you Royce. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, good night, Linda. Thank you again. Lou? Oh, uh, uh, tomorrow when, uh, when Bob gets here, why, uh, have him stop by, will you? Yeah, I will. Oh, no, hell, tomorrow, tomorrow's, uh, Bob's got to go to the rodeo with him. You're coming too, ain't you, honey? No, I'll be working. Working? Oh, hell, honey, what do you mean, working? Who's going to go to a motion picture when, when there's a rodeo in town? Oh, no, it's just something extra, that, uh, just, uh, keeping up the books. Yeah, well, you can tell him you can do it some other time, then, huh? No, no, I promised. Well, hell, that's... The way you want it, it's the way it'll be. Bob's coming to the rodeo, though. Oh, yeah, well, he's going anyway. Roy bought him a ticket. Yeah, but he's going to be in the shoes with me. He's not going to be standing in the stand. Hey, Roy, God damn, let's go have a drink. Go, oh, no, no, wait, come on. Wait a minute. Come on, Tomorrow's Roy. a big day for you and Lou. Good luck tomorrow. Yeah, well, thank you, Royce. Good night, Roy. Good night, Linda. Bye, Royce. Damn, he's a big old bucking. Lou, I tell you, sometimes you just act like a, a complete idiot. No, no, sorry. I want to take you out and have some good food and we go dancing and have a nice dinner someplace. It's a little romance and make love all night long. I'm sorry, baby. I know. I know you are. It's all right. It's just I didn't have any way to get home.
think of that. Hey, this is my boy Bob, Larry. Hi, Bob. Good to see you. You gonna be a bronco like your old man? No, no. <laughs> Damn, what happened there? It looks like you broke a, an arm or something. Jeez, if that hurt. Well, it's being hurt is sure bad. Hold it, Larry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. You ever break an arm? No, 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 no. I busted a... Me careful. Here we go. Emmett Wright, him like he owns him, doing a great job of spurring. Oh, but this is fine. Casualty, let's go. Emmett Wright, put your own. Put your own. Butch Cody, Cedarville, Kansas, and Butch Duck. And ladies and gentlemen, that completes our bareback riding. Let's go to the calf roping contest. And here's a skilled event. A lot depends on the fine horse the cowboy rides. Remember, they ride quarter horses not only for speed, but for their ability to work the rope after the catch is made on the calf. Let's go to the roping shoot and Roy Echeverry of Clovis, New Mexico, to be our first roper. Back to the horse into the box. Hey, there's Roy. Hey, Roy. 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 Mask head, don't they? Sounded like him, huh? Oh, yeah, he's a good guy. He's a, he's kind of quiet, though. He, he don't rodeo or nothing. Oh, well, hell, not everybody can rodeo. 
Yeah, I suppose so. He's a good guy, though. We do things, you know. We go riding and stuff. Yeah. I got on a bronc once. You kidding? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, did you get, get bucked off? What? Yeah, right out of the chute. <laughs> Did it hurt? Oh, bet, you know. Well, hell, you got to learn to take your knocks. Get it. <laughs> fall off to get back up again. Well, uh, Roy still think I ought to go into it profession. Hell, nothing wrong with it. That's what you want. Yeah, I'm sure thinking about it. Maud be ticked off. Oh, well, that would hurt, huh? The calf must remain tied until the okay. You make up your own mind. You do what you want to do now, you hear? Huh? My God, there he goes. That horse worked the rope for you. The girl makes a fast tie and the flag comes down in the field. This could be the time to be. Mrs. Brown, would you please report to your automobile? Your husband is there with your baby and the baby is crying. You have something the baby wants and the old man is doing the best he can with the tools he's got to work with. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some wonderful, wonderful folks we'd, we'd like to have you meet here this afternoon, the sponsors of the Frankton Rodeo. We'd like to ask the John Moon family to please stand up. How about a nice hand for this wonderful group? And ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice hand for the parade queen and also the rodeo queen, Miss Shirley Moon. There she is. We love you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, back to the bucking shoot and the classic fall riding events. That'll be riding time. With the ride eight seconds to the sound of the buzzer, ride with what we call an association saddle, one hand in the buck ring, the other hand must stay free in the air until you hear that buzzer sound. Cowboy required to spur up forward over the points of the shoulders and then continue to spur what we call four and a half together points on the ride. Again, it's scored one to 25, point marking to the saddle wrong, one to 25 for the cowboy. There is a judge on each side, and they're looking for points in the Honey? cowboy's favor and also disqualification. And here's a cowboy to watch. Larry Mahan, Frisco, Texas, five times, all around champ of the world. And here we go, Larry Mahan, Frisco, Texas. <laughs> chances out there. Oh, I'm all right. You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Sure now? Hell yes, I'm all right. Now that our clown... Well, wipe those tears out of your eyes. The ground out there, it's a long ways ride. from my heart. Right. Coming up will be Tony Martinez. You all right? Mexico, the horse trailer. Yeah, we'll be okay. All set with Tony Martinez of Roy, New Mexico, and the Bucky Horse Trail. i 
covering Pittsburgh, Ohio. Right? Let's see what our judges come up with on Ron Moore. And they score him a 73. Not bad. Yeah. There's a white pickup truck over there, the other side of those stands. There's a number. I want you to watch and see who gets in that truck and you tell me, yeah? Yes, sir, Mr. Parson, I sure will. You need a little bit more gum? I'd give him a little more rain than that. He bucks his head pretty low. I'm guessing, I think. That's it. That's right. Let's win this one, Dad, just for the hell of it. You better get your tail right over this. Okay. Screw him up. Here he goes. Anybody would steal. Like that. A little past your bedtime, any squirt. Bob, just get ready to uh, go home now. <laughs> Forget what I told you about keeping your nose clean, Lou. I got I'll do it, Sheriff. Hey, 
Hey, uh, what's all this static about the hat? I don't know what the hell was he talking about. I don't know. <laughs> come on, Button. I'm going to take you home. Oh, come on, please. <laughs> Look, don't you give me no style. After all, I think you man's kind of enjoying himself. He can get along without us. Hey, uh, Lou, see the fall for see it all. Hey, uh, 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 uh please. <laughs> Go ahead, take the car now. And, uh, I, I get a ride home with, uh, Lou. No, what do we got here? You're right over there. You keep your nose clean, Lathrop. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it, Bobby. <laughs> Come on. Come on, let's hey, go. Hey, Lou. Sit down, Bobby. Lou, Lou. Jeez. What? Look at that little unit over there. Mm-mm. Make a mother eat her in. Well, you like that. Like it? That's prime rib. Just different enough to make it real interesting. Like a well done. <laughs> Come on, you dead pieces. Get out of here. Come on, boy. Let's go. Back. Okay. Come on, let's go. Okay. Come on, everybody. Let's go ahead and play. Stand there. Come on, let's go. We're going faster. Oh, boy. Who rode you? I'm telling you, though, you really should have been there. It was the best ride that they ever made at Trankton. Hey, I know. All right. All right. You told me that 15 times. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you better finish up there now and go to bed, huh? Well, can I stay up a little bit longer? No, you go to bed. Oh, shit. Shoot. What'd you say? Shoot. I said shoot. Hey, you know, you, you got a habit of talking like that whenever he comes back. I don't want to hear any more of it. I'm sorry. It's all right. Go to bed. You gonna come with us tomorrow? We'll see. Oh, come on with us tomorrow. He was really great. I said we'll see, now get. Make her say yes, okay, Cleet? No, I think I can talk her into it. Okay. Good night. Good night, darling. Good night, Bob. Oh, my God, you see the size of that boy? I can hardly believe it. I was hardly any older than him when I had him. <laughs> he sure is a whole lot like his daddy, ain't he? Yeah. Yeah. I keep hoping not, but I'm afraid he is. <laughs> sure has got the enthusiasm. <laughs> you should have seen him out there today. Just like he'd found himself a home. Oh, man, he was a hooping and a hollering. And when his dad rode that horse, I thought that little devil would fall off the chutes. It was the dangest thing. And, man, that is a good ride. It really was. This big old power mean the horse. Man, he jumped out of the chute there and went kicking over his head and turned back to the left. And Lou just stuck that brain out at him and <laughs> jerked God. it out of him. You think... know you're all beginning to sound exactly alike. I mean, 15 or 50, y'all sound exactly alike. <laughs> yeah, I reckon we do. But you know, we sure have a lot of fun. Hey, he really did that, huh? He really made that good a ride. He sure did. Good for him. You know, he needed it, too. He really needed something like that to happen. So? What's next?
Welcome home, Lou. What am I doing here? Disturbing the peace. Oh, shit. You know damn well the only peace that was disturbed around here was... Oh, was my own. Would you like for me to call your lawyer? No. Your buddy will stop by and pick me up. You want to tell me who uh, they were? No. Why not? Don't want to. Do yourself. I'll find out anyway. Well, if you find out, just don't bring him in here. I don't want to have to go through that again. Bail from said yet? Bail now. Now, who's going to bail you out, Lou? Just cool your heels while I figure this out. Hey, Mel. Yeah. Damn, why don't you just let me go? Because I don't want to. Well, I, I gotta be out of here tomorrow. Ben? Back out, Lou. Let's be. Oh, come on now, Sheriff. Hey, Spotter, I want to make my phone call. Couch there and it opens up into a bed, see? And I made it up for you, so why don't you just sleep on that tonight? I think I will. I don't feel much like driving back to the motel, anyhow. No, I don't blame you. Good night, Kate. Did Lou come home yet? No. He's not going to come home. He's probably already shacked up with one of those hot little units. Cleet? Is that what I am? Am I just another one of those sometimes units? Just available wherever he happens to be? I don't... I don't really think that's true, hon. I know he loves you, but I can't answer you for him. I'm kind of in the middle, looking both ways. I love you both.
Yeah, I'll keep my nose clean if I can just get it stopped from bleeding. the door. Where are we going? For a drive. All right, but then you gotta take me home. Sure. What'd that cost you? Nothing. It was a fair trade. What do you mean, fair trade? young Indian girls in this town, but no one was looking. So I called him on it. One night I went with him. He got drunk, passed out. And I gave him a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> you gave him a haircut? You're a kid. About um, that close. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Put it in an envelope and uh, addressed it to his wife. But I never mailed it. Tonight he was nice enough to let you out, so I was uh, nice enough to give it back to him. Yeah. Got your gun? Sure, let's get it on. Give it to you. Well, hell yeah. Say please. 
please. Say pretty, please. Come on, let's go home. What, what the hell did you do that for? I told you. I play dirty. Yeah, well, you're really putting my butt in the brace, honey. You're getting scared. No, huh? no, I'm getting a little pissed off, though. That's so. Yeah, that's so. You don't want to play anymore? Listen, honey, I don't even know why the hell I'm here. I don't know what we're doing here. Make it with an Indian. Looks mm -hmm. like I'm going to have to. of Roy, New Mexico, all set for the run. received a note. We have a fine refreshment stand. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, all proceeds go to the Children's Foundation Hospital for the handicapped. Let's help out a worthy cause. Remember that stand right behind our uh, judge's stand. Seen anything of him, Bobby? No, but what's going to happen with this bull ride? Are you just going to turn him out? No, I'll talk to him. They're going to hold him as long as he can, pardon me, sir. He sure must have got himself clobbered like that. I sure hope he's able to get on him when he does show up. Where the hell is he? I don't know. I talked to the sheriff, and he said somebody bailed him out, but he wouldn't tell me who or why. Maybe you ought to go talk to your mom and tell her what happened, huh? Do you think he's in trouble? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, Bobby. Yeah, son of a bitch run out again. Here, now, cut that out. I hear you talking like that again, I'll kick your butt. Go on, Taylor. Oh, damn it to hell. Check, check, check with both judges. And Ron scores a 75. That's just a good enough for some of that prize from here today. We'll go right back to the action out of the bucket and shoots and more saddle bone drive. Damn, where does the time go? Here we go with Marvin Schulte. You've enjoyed the saddle bronc riding here at Franklin, New Mexico. Right back, that winds up our event for this year. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, to the steer wrestling or bulldogging, whichever you choose to call it. Again, they'll be riding quarter horses for the speed from the standing start. So watch the uh, speed of both horses in our contest. Steer wrestling. Here are the gentlemen our bulldoggers. Standing by the horn. Here we go, Lynn Jensen, our speed team in Mexico, moving in along fast and here. Down to the horse he goes, trying to bring it to a stop. Now, this time, nine, one, ten seconds. Here goes our next new rest, Floyd Bates, here along the river. Floyd Bates picks up the horse, trying to bring it to a stop. Floyd had a real fast time. Five and two, ten seconds. Alice Crawley will be our next old order. Trailers up and they're ready to go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to our final contest event, the one I know you've all been looking forward to. Lyle Bramer bull riding. When they ride eight seconds to the sound of the buzzer, you're very many shadows. Call a loose oh. rope or a bull rope. Not required to spur in this contest, but if they can spur, that's more points in their favor. You want to keep your eyes on our rodeo clowns during this contest. Fleet Lomax and also Wiley McRae, Barry McKinney will be out there not only for the comedy, but for the protection of the Cowboys as well. They score the same one to 25 point marking for the Bull and one to 25 for the Cowboys. And out of the bucking shoots in our first rider, J.W. Myers, Lubbock, Texas, rider on Bull, number two. Well, we go south of the border on this one as our clown uh, is Pete Lomax using the cape. Now get him uh, down on all four. You're going to meet him on equal terms. You notice the bull, he's digging a hole for Pete. Also notice our man in the barrel. He's still in there. Watch it, watch it, Pete. He's getting a little too close. Where are you going, man? <laughs> you're getting a little too close, Pete. You better watch yourself. Hey, um, I'm going to horn in on your business. Let's see if we go get a Coke, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, bull riding no, being the most dangerous of all our rodeo contest events. The boys take a little longer in the bucking chute getting ready for the ride. We'll move along now to our next bull rider getting ready in chute uh, number seven. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here's the one you've all been waiting for. Let's go to chute number three for Larry Mayhem. Bull, mark seven. There he shoots right up close to his rope. Watch the shoot game, number three. Number six and Charlie Thompson from Lubbock, Texas. And Bull, 22 Canadian headhead. And he is ready, so watch shoot gate. Number six. 22 jumps right out of the field to the space of three. Flatten and Charlie Thompson. Look out, Charlie. Running back and coming after. That was a close call, Charlie. The way you hit the ground. And dished out another headhead. Come on, Whitey. Get in your barrel and walk up closer. If he knocks you down, we'll have Larry McKinney pick you up. 
Well, I guess that bull was in a hurry. You must have scared him, Wiley. They give us the signal to go at shoot number two with James Orgain of Georgetown, Texas. Three counts. jumped into the barrel. Now he's coming back to crawl in with him. That's it, Cleet. Keep him around the barrel. Look out, Cleet. He's coming around your side. We dare you to do that again, Cleet. Hey, Cleet, why don't you show him some of those smooth matador moves with the cane? He doesn't seem to like you or Wiley. He's going for Larry McKinney. That's it, Larry. Show him some of that. See, Roy, she put Let's go. Well, you've dazzled him so he's decided to leave. Where you going, boy? Let's move now to shoot one West Smith. Hey, what the hell? What's the matter, boy? Man, here we all worried that you might be in some kind of trouble. No. Just go to hell. Did you say? Hey, Bob. What the hell's the matter with him? What the hell do you think's the matter with him? Come on up, they don't want any yapping from you. Bob, wait a minute. Leave the kid. I worry my ass off half the night wondering where you are. The rodeo's damn near over. They're just ready to turn your bull out. You don't want no yapping from me. Well, you're goddamn sure going to get some. I'm going to go kick that little boy's ass. He just told me to go to hell. Now, get out of my way, Cleet. If you do, it'll be after the fight. Look here. I've got something to say to you. You're going to listen. Hell, I am. You're nothing but a pile of trash, and I'm through with you. Only time in your whole doggone life you come anywhere near being somebody, and you have to mess it up. You're so dumb, you don't know which ends up. You don't even know come here from sick. You through? You're goddamn right I am. You stay with that kid. You understand? Let's go home, Bob. Let's go home, too. Who is your mom say, boy? Wiley and Larry have been having a ball out here. Just for that, you get to fight the next bull. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget the big rodeo dance in downtown Trankton at the Civic Auditorium, starting at 8 o'clock sharp. It'll be a real fine western band to entertain you, and dancing will go on until 1 p.m. Hey, Proceeds please, go God, to the Sheriff's Posse Rescue Fund, and they need the money, so let's help them out, folks. Well, we rolled him ahead to shoot two, and the writer Clint Myers, El Paso, Texas, is all ready to go on Bull Red Band. He gives the nod, and here he comes. <laughs> Methyl chloride. You think you I'm can get you some Luke. for me? You ready to go? Hey, can you give me a minute, Harry? Okay, Everett, you're next. You yeah, ready to go? Right. Hell yes, I was born. Ready. You gotta turn this bull out. You're always gonna have another rodeo. Is that tight enough? 
I'm going to initiate an investigation into what's happened here today. I'm going to use every influence I have to make sure you never rodeo again a day in your life. A man died out there because of you. Do you hear me? You are finished. Through late from finished. I did it every way but right To live my lifetime in a night I did not But when the sunrise brought today I found the piper must be paid And I woke and found my friends were gone And loved ones I had known no longer And I got to face the mirror, good time morning man still echoes in my ear. But when she took me by the hand to show the crowd I was her man, I drank the wine, turned away, and lost my special day.